Yeah, there you This Hangout is now on air. Hello. I can see Miley's arm. Oh, my goodness. Miley. <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, crackling, and it was exciting. So, welcome to the Young Adult at Heart book discussion. We are back after a terribly long hiatus, which was evenly spread the fault across everybody. It was my fault. All of it was my fault. It's fine. So, after long, after long delay, um, we, are, we have read, we have all read Saving Red by Sonia Stones. So that is the glare is terrible. That is the least glary. There we go. I got it. Well done, Jen. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody want to read the back of their copy? Does anybody else have a copy? All right. That's the two of them. I got nothing. Someone else can read. The back of the copy? Oh, or the back like, of the, yeah. they're the blurred. Flap. Yeah, the flap. Oh, I was like, the front of the copy? <laughs> no, all of the reviews. You can tell how long, you can tell how long I've not been doing this. I'm like, wait, I'm confused. The words going in. Um, We're rusty. <laughs> all right. Okay, I can do it. Now that I figured out what you're talking about. Beautiful. Okay. My name is Molly. This book is about me. I'm probably the guiltiest person who ever lived. But I'm not ready to talk about that yet. I may never be ready. This book is about Pixel 2, my almost human dog, and about Christo, my possible future boyfriend. Mostly, though, it's about Red, this homeless girl I met in the park one night. She's a few years older than me, reckless and wild, and more fun than anyone. Anyone. But if Red survived on the streets these last few months, it's only because it's only been because of, of dumb luck, and that luck might run out any second now. That's why I've made it my mission to get her back to her family, though it's hard to save it, someone when they don't really want to be saved. That's it. And it's quiet. Beautiful. I said beautiful, but I was muted because we were trying to be polite. So, um, yes, lovely. Um, so, <laughs> what is <laughs> there is really what is that? scary. So there's a science fiction monster. <laughs> apparently, apparently our Lord Cthulhu would like to <laughs> pick on the book. Creepy girls gonna pop up in the back of somebody's in there. <laughs> run. <laughs> you know when the screen like blinks and then like there's a the black. Yeah, like, that's oh, what... yeah. So this is the, this is why we don't read books that are in verse because our Lord Cthulhu is apparently a fan. Um, <laughs> But so this is, um, so the book is written and you can see kind of, yeah, I'm just going to go to an actual page. So it is written like a poem, all the poem, so much poem. There's all the poem. Very poem. poem. Very poem um, which is apparently this author's deal. Um, I read up a tiny baby bit about her, um, before we did this, because librarianing. Oh, we should introduce ourselves, I guess. Um, I'm going to go first. I am Jennifer. I used to be a librarian in the Midwest, and now I am a librarian on the East Coast. I have abandoned the Midwest. Woo! She back again. Um, uh, and so, <laughs> I'm so, so um, that is me, and whoever would like to go next may go next. I'll go next, because I'm over here with you on the East Coast, except I think the last time we did this, I was like, I'm a two and two librarian in a small rural library, I think was what I said. And so now the words are different. And now it's I'm a youth services librarian in a big opposite of rural. They speak 30 some odd languages in it. Big town. Yeah, yo, dude. Oh my God. You know awesome. What language anyone's going to speak? Like someone walks up to you and you're like, I don't know, I'm not prepared for anything. Um, someone walked into, oh, so I'm in the, in the in a branch and on a bookmobile. Someone walked into my bookmobile. These two women entered it speaking to me in rapid French. And I just went, and they go, no. I said, no. And they're like, okay. And then they laughed. So that's what my life is like. Yay. Oh, Kim, I think the feedback might be you. I think you might be the one who is hoisting our Lord Cthulhu because the feedback <laughs> went off when you muted What I do to Cthulhu? I don't know. I don't know what happened, man. I did none of the thing. No Cthulhu. <laughs> there was no one behind me. All right, so Mylene, do you want to go next and then Crystal? Sure. 
uh, my name is Mylene, and I am the lone lone librarian from the West West Coast. Um, I I was one also who picked the book for for selfish reasons, um, because it's literally about the area that I work in, and I, I know the lady who who wrote it, and the late one of the other ladies who was given her credit in the back is one of my coworkers. So all these things. Oh, I didn't know that. Dang. <laughs> Uh -oh. I can't hear you, Crystal. I can hear you either. Take your headphones out. Because it was totally Take talking. On headphones. Crystal, do you want to jump off and jump back in? Crystal is going to do that. I mean, I didn't know that you, I didn't know why you picked the book. I didn't realize that like it was right where you worked and that it was um, you knew the person who like wrote a good blue. Yeah. She she's um, done a few of our writing workshops over the summer and or maybe just one. And I I'm confused. I'm possibly possibly confused, but she's also the good um, my coworker and her are good friends. So when it came out, I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pick it up because it has to do with a teen and so cinema I the location of this takes place like a block away from where I work. And they did not know, mention the library not one time in that book. They do, they do. They go to the library oh, they and okay. they watch a movie. They watch um It's a Wonderful Good. Life. It's a Wonderful Life. I don't remember any of that. Y'all did be great. <laughs> Let's see if we can hear Crystal. No. No. We've got nothing. Oh, Crystal. Crystal. Unplug your headphones. And maybe see if your computer. No, is that also a silly phone? Could you try and do it on your phone? You might have to download Google Hangouts or something. Yeah, most phones come with a program. <laughs> I'm wondering, maybe I can kill this and start it all again. Will it just stop? Kill it because Cthulhu is getting loud. Yeah, okay. We're gonna... What did I do? I can't hear any Cthulhu. It's not even you. Oh. We're going to stop. I'm going to create a new one, and then we're going to try this again. Yes, we will try again. Okay.